Hello, today I'll be showing you how to create an NIS server in SUSE 11 Service Pack 1 in both desktop and server environments. In my network, I'm currently using a local network that includes both a server and workstation that have already been configured with IP addresses, HTTP, or whatever is necessary to have them operational. Now, before I begin with NIS, begin playing with NIS, I'm going to make sure that not only do I have an address uh, that, that came from my network, which I do, I'm going to ping my desktop to verify that they both will communicate with each other, which they do. So, now to NIS. Begin, I am going to go to computer, yes. I'm going to use the filter to find everything with NIS. And because I haven't even configured a client yet, I'm going to configure the server. Now, for the first time, it's either going to do one of two things. Connect to the internet to download the latest packages and install them. Or, install the packages from the CD. Installing from the internet is harder because... Well, not hard. More time consuming. Because you must you know, turn off your machine but reconfigure it through VirtualBox or VMware, whatever you're using to connect to the internet using network attached something and instead of uh, internal network or host only adapter just gotta switch that around and then start up your installation down the packages configure it, shut down reconfigure the net the Network again for intro network or host only adapter. Try back on. A little more time consuming because you get all that shutting down, and restarting, and waiting for it to start up. As you can see, I've already configured an NIS server, but I'll go ahead and reconfigure it again. Doesn't hurt. For you, what you probably want to do is configure an NIS master server. Unless you've already configured one server and want to create an additional one, which in my case I do not want to do. Now, my domain name is example.com for the moment. I do not want this server to be an NIS client. Active slave NIS server exists. No, I don't have another NIS server lying around. Fast map distribution sounds good. Want to change the passwords and changes to everything else? Sure. Let them change the login shell. Open port and firewall. Select all. Okay. Except having trouble with that. And next. I'm just making an easy server here. I selected everything already. Next, I want to query all addresses and worry my loop back. Finish. Okay. Well, that's finishing up. What I'm going to do. Ooh, done. Okay. I've been having several problems with NIS, specifically with getting through my firewall. So, what I'm going to do for the moment is just drop it, which apparently it already is, has been dropped. If it has not already been dropped for you, just click stop firewall now. Okay. Now to the workstation. I'm going to configure the NIS client by loading YAST. Or starting YAST. Oops, almost forgot about something. Intent, you have to create directories later. Okay. I'm going to create my or configure client. Okay. That is. Yes, I want to use NIS. Don't want to go through changing any policies. This is my domain. That is my server. And don't want to play around with that at all. So I'm going to try to find my server. These other there are other options here as well. 
important firewall absolutely start out of matter sure don't want to go around playing with expert I'm gonna make sure my firewall's been dropped which it has not been so I'm gonna stop firewall now and my set so might want to go back and change that in a couple minutes and it's found an NIS server so I'm gonna check that by select all okay and some of you might be missing an X button here just okay we have alternatives just click in some random field and enter that should allow you to proceed to the next step if it ever wants to proceed to the next step Ever wants to proceed. Hello. Okay. Might just be me. Okay. Assuming that the connection just fine, restarted the demon, that kind of stuff. Then you have to go and try logging with the user. Now, just in case there's any problems that arise, I'm gonna just log into the CLI. It's easy. Don't have to log out of root. Just switch around. Terminals. Yeah. And Ben two's not been, has not been configured, so I'm gonna log in as Ben two. Oh, oh, he has no home directory. Can't be right. Does not have a home directory, nor do any of my other NIS user accounts. So now I'm going to have to log as root and go to the home directory and create a Ben2 folder. And while I'm at it, I'll make a Doctor1 folder because I have a Doctor1 account. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to log out and log back in see if creating that folder fixed anything for me well you know I'm in okay I'm gonna start up gnome uh oh permission denied guess we forgot to set up permissions so now go and set up permissions by my thinking root enter the home directory we want to set a file access control list we have two options here we can modify an existing ACL control list by doing dash G D dash M or just modify the default ACL by just doing dash M so now we have two options for this point we can configure user to access folder or configure a group. In this case, let's use, do users. And we'll give them read write execute in then two. Small problem with that. They will all have access to it and yeah, we don't want to share documents like that. That's why we created sep I created separate shares. So well, I only want Ben to be able to access this folder at the moment. So I'm going to create an ACL that only permits him to access, or that permits him to access Ben 2. Done. I'm at it. What? Dr. 1. Enter the Dr. 1 folder. That's done. Gonna log as root. Uh oh. Problem with. Uh, no. It's already active. But I can log in. So I'm going to go to normal terminal. Go log out of the root account here. I'm going to see if Dr. or yeah, Dr. One can log in through the GUI. So far so good. But everyone can get past this point. It's errors that we have to look out for. That's a good sign. At this point, you may 
see that your wallpaper changes from something to from the default green wallpaper. And what do you know? GNOME is starting up as it normally should. It probably tells you that NIS is working. Just to make sure I'm not hallucinating, I'm going to do who am I on the terminal? And it's Dr. One. And that is NIS up right there.